The future of TikTok has been uncertain for a while now, and after the election, more questions are being raised. Raquel Martin with the details. TikTok may be going from enemy number one in Washington to yesterday's news. For all of those that want to save TikTok in America, vote for Trump. On the campaign trail, President-elect Donald Trump reversed his position to ban the popular video app. I'm now a big star on TikTok. Now that uh, Donald Trump's popular on them, I'm glad that he realizes that there's a value to Democratic California Congressman Ro Khanna is on board. He voted against a bill forcing TikTok's Chinese parent company to sell the app to an American company or be banned in the U.S. There are 170 million Americans on these platforms. You can't just take away their free speech rights. New York Republican Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis and most of Congress voted for it. But she says the priority now is to secure our border and this mass illegal migration that is crushing cities. Democratic Senator Mark Warner is still sounding the alarm. He calls TikTok a national security threat. Let's have it owned and controlled not by a Chinese company, which by Chinese law is answerable to the Communist Party of China. TikTok is fighting the mandate in court. At a global summit in Peru, the company's CEO insisted user data is safe. These are not just words. We have invested more than $1.5 billion to secure the data of our U.S. community. TikTok has until January 19th, the day before President-elect Trump is inaugurated to sell the app. Warner says if Trump does not enforce the law, awful lot of explaining to do. In Washington, Raquel Martin.